Vicky, Bogdan is here. Open the gate. by the time we get in. <sighs> hey, hey, stop! Oh. Who are you calling an old man? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean it like that, Dad. I, I can still beat you at Barrel Ball. Oh, you sure about that? <laughs> I'll be a barrel ball champion someday. <laughs> Get your old man some water, Bogdan. Nikki's got it. Be right there. <laughs> hey, check out the weight lifter. Show us your muscles, Nikki. <laughs> hey, no one makes fun of my brother but me. Thanks, Nikki. <sighs> Colder than a penguin's backside. Just how I like it. <laughs> Wait. Come with me, son. I want to show you something. Dragonhide may be impressive, Nikki, but it's nowhere near as special as this. Show me a dragon with skin this soft, huh? Huh? Yeah, cows are so much more exotic than dragons. Now, Nikki, I may have killed a dragon, but that pale next to the thrill of tanning my first hide. You'll be a great tanner one day, you'll see. Just imagine the adventures that await you. Adventures in tanning. Imagine. Well, how does that sound? I have one question. Go on. When a dragon breathes fire, why doesn't it get burned? Here we go. Fireproof skin, right? But what about smoke inhalation? I'll need to know this stuff if I have to fight one someday, right? <laughs> if that ever happens, my money is on Nikki. The dragon will die laughing just at the sight of him. Yeah, if your body odor doesn't get him first. Hmm? Come on, your mother's waiting. Shaking. 
Don't be afraid of me. Be terrified, for I am the great and powerful Nikki Tanner, famous and handsome dragon slayer, and I've come for one thing, justice. Escape? Oh, there's no escape. There is only death. <laughs> Ah, so there's a bit of fight in you after all. What are you waiting for? On guard! Dragonhide? Nikki, what happened? Hmm? Uh, it wasn't me. Really? Who was it then? Draco? Mm. You have to outgrow this obsession with dragons. They're extinct. I killed the last one. And do you know why? Because you're a hero. I'm not a hero. I'm a tanner. And so are you. I was just trying to defend our way of life so one day my sons could take over the family business and But I don't want to make leather. I want to be a hero like you. If only I was bigger. Son, hear me now. Size has nothing to do with greatness. Strength lies in the heart, not in the muscles. I hope one day you'll understand that. I'm sorry, Draco. Mm -hmm. And that's why you must never combine a fire spell with a gunpowder spell. Oh, I learned that one the hard way. Which reminds me, have you finished your homework, Eddie? Of course, Master. Yesterday, I mastered the levitation spell. Mastered it, eh? Well, then you shouldn't have any trouble levitating Hildy here. Hey, no problem, okay. One, two, three, four. And fly Miriam! <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> you realize I said levitate and not morph into a weird freak of nature, don't you? Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> hey, don't worry, this is uh, all going according to plan. Yeah, yeah, she'll fly, you'll see. I just have to give her, um, wings. Oh, come off it, Eddie. We're still getting eggnog from her udders after your last experiment. Yeah, you complain now, but just wait till Christmas time. I had to teach you how to talk, didn't I? I could be having an insightful conversation with my armchair right now, but oh no, I had to waste that talking spell on you. <laughs> I saw that, for I see in four magical dimensions. <laughs> I hear in six, and taste in twelve. Oh. <laughs> but, 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 but see, the thing is, I... You need to learn manners. Go, now, and read all 72 scrolls on the subject by tomorrow. Sorry. Whoa, whoa. Hey, uh, what's wrong, Master? 
We must act quickly before an ancient evil awakens and plunges the world into a vortex of endless horrors. Horrors? Uh, this would be a perfect time for a vacation. Head to the beach, flirt with the mermaids. You should wear a hat, of course. Bald ones burn easily. We need the help of the mighty warrior, Cyril Tyler. Take this letter to Cyril Tyler right away. So, uh, did you kill the dragon? Such a brave lad. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Dad. I was playing. It's just a small terror. <laughs> <clears throat> Small! It took me two hours to mend! And these days, you can hardly hold the needle. You've got a point. Oh, I got a few too, right in the fingertips. That's why Nikki's got to learn the craft. It's time! But I don't want to. Nikki, you must... Adler wants to see me. It must be serious. Adler the sorcerer? I'm coming with you! No! You stay here. <laughs> Take Nicky and uh, have Adler turn him into a frog or a tadpole. Dad, may I go with you? I said no. Behave yourself while I'm gone. I mean it. Stay safe, my love. <sighs> Take some pies for Adler. Someone. Maybe I could help him. At least a little. You? Help him? <laughs> I know I can do it. Hey, Nikki, come back. Oh, Dad's gonna be angry. Uh. Mm? Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. Draco? Nah, Draco, let him go. He's not going anywhere. I'm following him no matter what! We have to find out what Adler is saying to Dad. Let's go, Draco, come on! I need your help, Cyril. Our world is in grave danger. Mm -hmm. Draco, sit! Mm -hmm. This is very serious business, my friend. Did you notice the red comet in the sky? Hard to miss. It's a sign that the fire blossom fern is about to bloom in the Chantosphere. And? The fire blossom's magic is very powerful. We must find it as soon as possible. We'll start looking at the house at Crystal Lake. Don't you know that eavesdropping is rude? <laughs> A bat that talks? Hey, it's not that hard. Even you can manage. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, gross. <laughs> Keep your tongue to yourself. <laughs> he likes you. Yeah, well, who doesn't? Behold, Eddie the Magnificent. Da, 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 da. 
I am master of white magic and Adler's right hand bat. <gasps> You're a wizard, too? Well, not officially. I mean, I, I still have to make up a few classes, but I am a celebrated magician, so call me your magicity. My name is... Nikki, and this is your friend Draco. I know everything. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> uh, then tell me, does the Chantosphere really exist? Does it have a fire blossom? What happens when that blooms? And why... Whoa, 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 whoa. Enough of the questions. This is top secret information. Fine. Then don't tell me. I didn't really want to know anyway. He's alive. But... but I killed him. Alas. The dragon's spirit possessed Syringa, the sorceress. Can we expel the dragon's spirit from Syringa? And when the fire blossom blooms, the dragon spirit will break free from her. Ah, good. No, not good. If the spirit were to gain possession of the Fire Blossom and his hide, he'll then turn himself back into a dragon. Why won't these pesky dragons just stay dead? Magical lands have their downside, my friend. The Red Comet. Fire Blossom will bloom. I will have my dragon skin. I will have my freedom. No, don't you? Not particularly. Oh, yes, you do. I can tell. Nope. Oh, oh, stop ignoring me. Come on, guys. All right, fine. You win. Here's the deal. The fire blossom is magical. Can it grant any wish? Can it make me really, really strong? No, sorry. Then I'll never be a hero like my dad. Hmm. But you know what... Adler the Sorcerer would say, the strength of your spirit trumps the brawn of your fist. Really? <laughs> no, what are you kidding? Do you really think Cyril could have vanquished the dragon if he were small and weak? Dragons are ruthless! Trust me, I know. I started out with three wings. What else do you know about them? Well, they're all for dancers, and they need to have their hides to be dragons. You mean like the one hanging in my father's workshop? Exactly. That dragon can't be itself again unless it gets its skin back. Then the Fire Blossom's power will bring it back to life. Oh, then what? If that happens, the only way to destroy it is to burn it to ash with its own fiery breath. I want to slay the dragon for good. How do we get to the Chantosphere? Well, through the magic gate, but only powerful wizards can open it, like me. Although, as I mentioned, I'm not technically a wizard, but I'm taking remedial wand skills over the summer, so... Uh... <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I can prove my powers! Portalus, Ferris, boom, da da boom! idea. Uh -huh. Okay, nice trick. Now, can you close that thing up? Just admit that I am an all-powerful wizard. You're an all-powerful... <laughs> Say it! Wizard, now close it! Sure, no problem. 
Uh, how does it go? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Terra Pira. No, no, no. Terra Pira Pira. Mm, two Piras or one? Howdy! I'm working on it. Pira Terra Pira. No, no, it sounds like a soup dish. Minestrone. Force! Not easy remembering things when you're being yelled at, you know. Okay, just relax. Sing a song. Yeah, come on, sing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. You know, maybe a few sides with me. Row, row, row your boat. Dad! Nikki! What's happening? They're being sucked into the chanter sphere! I think so. They got trapped in the Chantosphere. Oh, don't worry, my friend. We're going to get them back. My boy. I could do it. Never doubt. Eddie the Magnificent. Open the gate now. Open, yeah. Well, right, no problem. Okay, I'll do it. Whoa! Look! The comet! The dragon? What about my father and Adler? Well, what about them? They're there and we're here. Look, you want to slay a dragon? I want to be a famous sorcerer. This is not a problem. This is an opportunity. You can't open the gate, can you? No. But that's okay. Fame awaits us. <laughs> what choice do I have? Let's find the Crystal Lake. That's where Dad and Adler were going. his magic all over that flying rat. This is no coincidence. What is Adler up to? Sending a boy and a bat to find the fire blossom. Has he lost his mind? <coughs> find them, goon! Bring them back to me. We need to chat. Besides, roast bat is one of my favorite snacks. I will consume him and Adler's magic in one bite. <laughs> I 
I keep thinking about Mom. She's probably worried sick. Well, think about how proud she'll be when you come back a hero. Ouch! Meow! Freezes! Attack us, back us! Eddie! Ow, that stings! Hand over your food! <laughs> Or there's more where that came from. Are they crazy? Maybe they're just hungry. Then why are they throwing the food? We're sick of walnuts, bread and fruit. Hand it over or else. Or else what? Yeah, what? Show them, Kami. <laughs> it's a squirrel. Alive. <laughs> it's in my pants. It's scratching my knees. Don't bite that. Somebody get the squirrel out. Wow, he's good. She, Kamikaze's the best. She's my teacher. <laughs> Oh, please! I'm begging you! Call off the squirrel! We don't have any food! Uh. Well, why didn't you say so? Bye! Wait! We need to know... I don't know what you're doing, but you better know this first. The squirrel's buddy here smells of magic. Lots of it. Almost as much as Adler. Look, they live here. One, it's called the Chantosphere. I'm not surprised he smells like magic. Second, he might be able to help. Do you know the way to Crystal Lake? <laughs> sure. What's it worth to you? Uh, bip, 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 bip. I'll handle this. <clears throat> What's it worth to us? What's it worth to you? How about food? Oranges as large as a house. Loaves of bread so big and soft you can sleep on them. Sweet strawberries the size of a kitten's head. Ice cream, my dear. No nut. <laughs> Cyril, go to your farm and get me every piece of wood and iron you have. I know how to get to the Chantosphere. Finally. Mm -hmm. Who knows what horrors Nikki is facing. <laughs> you bet. How do we know you won't just go to the lake and not pay us? Besides, it's a long and complicated trip. Giant fast snails show up? What can I say? Animals like me. So do plants and insects. I'm a likable person. What'd I tell you? Magic. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Let's ride the snail. By the way, I'm Nikki, and this is Eddie. You have a name? I'm Rocky, and the squirrel's kamikaze. Now try and keep up.
my family could see this. Isn't Eddie your family? Eddie? Nah, my family is my mom and dad and my big brother. And I have a pet calf named Draco. <laughs> you don't have a family, do you? I had to have one at one time, right? A mother for sure, but I only remember Kami. Oh, who needs a family when you live here? You ride snails. Yeah, dragonflies. You live free. And get to hang out with squirrels. <laughs> Pretty sweet if you ask me. My family would never let me have fun like this. Really? Yeah, really. Who wouldn't want to live like this? Two children in a pair of teeny rodents beat you? <laughs> knows about the house. Come to me, my servants, my shadows, my evil spawn. into his thoughts, turn his soul as dark as a dungeon, and his heart as cold as a stone. to the bone. Are 
Are you okay, Kami? To work! Time is of the essence! This is why I love her. What she lacks in strength, she makes up for in spirit. There is more magic in this world than my spells, Cyril. I wish Dad and Adler could have seen us fight. Yep, my invention of Boom will forever be remembered as the start of the legend that is... Eddie! Uh, Eddie? Should I be worried? Uh, maybe. This sure isn't normal. <laughs> Nikki! Mother? Master? What are you doing here? Adler. I should have known. You've caused me such pain. Why did you leave me? I didn't mean to. I'll be back. I have to find the Fire Blossom. I have to stop the dragon. You have ruined everything, Eddie. You are a braggart and a poor sorcerer. I... Uh, I know, Master. Good. Good. Drown them in guilt. Make them suffer! How can you destroy a dragon? A pathetic weakling child like you. What? The boy is Cyril Tanner's son? The man who took my skin! <laughs> well, I'll just take his son! <laughs> You cannot defeat the dragon. The world will end, and it will be because of you. I have wasted my time and knowledge on you. You are no longer my student. But I can defeat the dragon. I know in my heart I can. <laughs> your heart. What a fool I have for a son. What good is your heart without brawn? My father would never say that. You're not my father. <laughs> and I'm not sure they're bright enough to... Of course. 
course I can see you. You're right there in the water. Do I know you? You seem familiar. One moment, child. I'll be right back. Do you see her? Can you hear her? She makes me feel odd. Like... I love and hate her at the same time. Eddie, you did it! <laughs> we did it, Nikki. You saw through them, I blew them away. <laughs> <laughs> We're a pretty good team, huh, Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a choice? <laughs> Is that the urchin and the squirrel you saw with the Tanner Boy and Adler's bat? <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Goon. This may be a very, very good thing. Hello, dear. It's true that you know me. I'm your fairy godmother, and I'm here to grant you a wish. Anything you want. Food, shelter, power, whatever your heart desires. Can you give me a family? Like Nikki has? A mother? <laughs> of course. Whatever you want. But for the magic to work, you have to give me something. What do you want? The boy and the bat. Why? How dare you question me? Do you want a family or not? You just want to hurt Nikki! <laughs> <laughs> The urchin has magic, powerful magic. Whoever, whatever that is, we must be careful. <laughs> I want you to follow them. Don't do anything until I command you to. <laughs> You'll need this at the proper time. <laughs> to us I'll bet we would but whatever you're here where's our food we're not done the deal is when we finish don't you try to cheat us hey 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 let Eddie handle this the deal is for when we finish but how about a nice snack right now huh snackish smackish we don't eat rocks what is it with me anyway? Sometimes I'm perfect, and then a rock. Look, we're on a mission. We need to get to a house on that island. Help us out, and I promise you two will never go hungry again. I swear on my family. Okay, <laughs> we believe you. Great. First thing, we need a boat. No, we don't. See? I'm right. He's got magic. Whatever gets us to that island. Told you. Animals like me. Come on! At the end of the path, that's where Adler said the scroll would be. Scroll? House? What exactly is going on here? Are you two robbing a house? Why didn't you tell us about the dragon? We had to be sure we could trust you. <laughs> The 
it's locked. Stand back, everyone. I got this. Bask in my magnificence. This doesn't always go well. You might want to get behind me. Unlucky Norris! <laughs> well, that didn't work. I hate when I grow antlers. Oh, this looks familiar. Why? I I've never been here before. It looks like you can add houses to the list of things that like you. Okay, no messing around. We have to find the scroll. Where do we start? Let's start with this bunch. This is my pile. You want me to get them? Not yet. Let them do all the work for us. Gross spell. You know, I always wanted to be taller. I think I found it. Look! It doesn't look like any language I know. Can you read it, Eddie? Eh, not a clue, but it looks older than Adler. Maybe you can read it. Rocky opened the door and found the scroll. Maybe all this is for Rocky. Forget you not the bird who stares ceaselessly at its twin, the guardian of the path to knowledge. Ugh. That was strange. What is it talking about, a bird that stares at its twin? I hate magic riddles. Why can't they just say what they mean? I think I've got it, Eddie. Come on! We passed it on the way here! We got a stone stork, Nikki, but I don't see any twin. Look down! It's a reflecting pool! Guardian of the Path to Knowledge. Everybody in one piece? Yes, we're all fine. Are you crazy? Nobody's fine. This place is a death trap. The air is bad, and you just know there's poison bugs hiding everywhere. Uh, something's not right. Uh, yeah, that would be you. No, my magic. It's Gone. See? I knew it. The air down here is poisonous, and we're in the Chantosphere, so it's magic poison. Ugh. 
The cave must have a magic dimming effect. Then let's get out of here. I wonder where this tunnel leads. I get the feeling they don't like noise. in short for Roxana? Jeez, get it together, guys. Your head's on fire. Huh? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! We're going to capsize! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I've had this hat since I can remember. I love it. Okay, keep the hat. We won't laugh, unless you're not looking. <laughs> Let's just get to the other side. Me first, and no pushing. My hat! Oh. Uh, bigger problem. How are we going to get up there? Oh, how quickly you forget that you are in the presence of a Sorcerer Supreme! Ropes! How about you fly up there and throw some of those tree roots down? I like that idea, too. <laughs> oh, sure, why not? Take all the fun out of everything. Why are you staring at me? Uh, you're pretty? <laughs> what? Could a magic flower really grow in a place like this? Don't let the word flower fool you. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that great magic power isn't always pretty. I mean, look at Eddie here. Nice. <laughs> Bad idea, bad. How distracted do you get by a gnat? Because that's about what you are to that behemothy rockstrosity. We stick together, no matter what. Listen to him, uh, her, sorry. Find it! Hey, Boulder Boy, come right here! Ugh. Hey, you just crushed a big rock. How do you know that wasn't your cousin or something? I just hope he doesn't chew me. I'd rather get swallowed whole. Hey, you're very brave. What? I said you're brave for a little bug. And you don't eat brave bugs? Mm, depends what I'm hungry for. I'm the guardian of the cave, and other things. I don't get out much, 
Life on the surface is so noisy and rushed, and there's talking and uh, rabbits. Plus, I've got a bad back. It's cozy down here. Much just try not to throw up or pass out or, or both. The Red Comet has appeared, Mr. Rock Monster Guardian, sir. And there's a terrible dragon who wants to use the Fire Blossom to destroy the human world. Jeez, you take a nap for 90 years and all this stuff happens topside. So will you help us? I can see that you are worthy. I don't know where to find the Fire Blossom myself. But I have a little friend who is far smarter than me about this kind of thing. This is Firefly. He will lead you to the Fire Blossom. Thank you, very much. But we're trapped in a cave of horrors. How do we get back? Oh, there's a shortcut. Good luck to you, my brave little bugs. Now, I think maybe a nap. A short one. Maybe just ten years. Prepare yourself, Goon. Our time is near. The Firefly. It's ready to go. <sighs> it's Goon! <laughs> He's got me! Put her down! <laughs> or what? Listen to me! Thanks to me, the Scion, the man who took my skin! You've got me now! Let her go! Oh, it's not that simple. You like something I want, and you're going to get it for me. Bring me the Fire Blossom, and I'll be the girl. And Don't try any tricks. I'll know the instant you have that flower. And this bat knows where to find me. The name is Eddie, the inventor of Boom! I missed. We both failed, Eddie. My father could have saved Roxana. I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here either. I'm a lousy sorcerer. Adler was right. We have to get the Fire Blossom. And do what? You give it to the dragon and we're all doomed. Everybody, done, kaput. We're all Roxana has. We brought her into this. It's us or nobody. I'm with you on that, Nikki. Wonderful! Our guest of honor has arrived. <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand why humans create these things. Excellent. Sounds like Goon has finally done something right. Nikki?
Kami? Kami? You, the lady from the lake. Where are my friends? I've done nothing to your friends. And you never will! <gasps> you are not going anywhere until I... <laughs> to touch you, but nothing is stopping the goon. When Syringa turns, you jump her! No, wait, that, that's no good. Ah, uh, what about Goon? Okay, new plan, new plan here. I make a noise like a cat. And when Syringa and Goon look, you jump! Uh, excuse me, hello, can I bother you to listen for a second? We need a plan here, I'm trying, but that's what you do, not me. No matter how you look at it, I just don't see how we win, Eddie. I give her the Fire Blossom, Roxana's free, and the dragon destroys everything. I keep the Blossom and Roxana... Oh, we'll, 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 we'll work something out, we will. Hey, you're smart, Nikki, really smart. You stopped the Shadow Spirit, you figured out the Stork Riddle. We depend on your brain. I mean, look at me. I don't even know when my magic is gonna work. That's easy. Your magic works whenever you're using it to help somebody else, instead of yourself. Hey, you're right! Uh, you see what I mean? What a great brain you got! My father always tells me it's more important than brawn. Let's hope he's right. Its powers affecting all the magic in the land. <laughs> Adler's spell is broken. I'm free, free to do as I wish. 
witch's daughter. As you wish. <laughs> As you wish. Ha! I like the sound of that. And speaking of my fondest wishes, our little heroes are almost here. We have arrived! But we may be too late. The Fire Blossom has been picked. I should have destroyed the dragon's skin instead of mending it. We can only hope the dragon does not have the blossom. Maybe a notion of an idea for a plan? Come on, Nikki, we need to sew this up before we get to the dragon. Don't worry, I know what to do. You got a plan? Oh, yeah. Skin. Are you nuts? Maybe. The Blossom! No! Let Roxana go first! <laughs> Let the girl go. Don't give the dragon the Blossom, Nikki! This is not going to happen! Woo! The dragon has my mother's body. You pitiful things, all caught up in your love and family. And none of it matters now. actually believe me, did you? <laughs> Don't worry. You should count yourselves lucky. Not everyone gets to experience the heat of a dragon's flame! adventures for at least a week. Master, I'm back! Bah! You never would have gone missing in the first place if you'd used some common sense. <laughs> How kind of you to 
to gather together in one place. It'll make frying you that much easier. Just try it. I'm itching to slice off that ugly hide of yours. Again! And I'll make sure you never get it back. Well, if it isn't my old friends, Adler and Shiro. Feisty as always, I see. Rocky, I need your help. Nikki, what are you up to? Oh, I'll enjoy watching you burn. <sighs> Actually, hold that thought. You two aren't worth a single spark of my dragon flame. There's no time to explain. I need you to trust me. No. I think this calls for an old-fashioned stomping! No! You might hit the kids. The dragon! It's catching up! Well, if we're all gonna die anyway... I guess there's no point in waiting for lunch.
That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nikki, are you? I'm fine, Mom. We don't have anything to worry about anymore. Your son is a hero. The biggest hero I know. So, things turned out pretty well, didn't they, Master? Oh, don't call me that anymore, Eddie. What? Why? W what are you saying? Did, did I do something wrong? Are you firing me? A am I? A no, no, calm down, Eddie. <laughs> I'm saying that I'm no longer your master. You're a wizard now. Me? A wizard? <laughs> but wait, I can still live in your house, right? I, I mean, all my stuff is there, and... and... Hey, I got... Well, it looks like it's time to say goodbye. We need to go back to the human world. You'll come visit, though, won't you? Uh, yeah, of course we will. Oh. We can borrow Adler's ship. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> Come on, Nikki. We're gonna be late for dinner. Come back soon, Nikki. You are always welcome here. Take the helm, Nikki. Second thought, Adler, why don't you handle this? I'm uh, tired after all that adventuring. Adler, Master, Nikki, come back! 